I have to tell you something, and I know the truth isn't always easy to hear. If you're using the standard Shopify thank you page, you're just not making as much money as you should be. What? I know. It's a lot to handle, but now you're wondering why? Why is that? Well, your thank you page is one of the most important pages in your sales funnel, and right now it's converting at 0%. All I have to say is thank goodness you are here because we are gonna turn that right around. So stick around so you can find out how to turn your conventional thank you page into a brand building, revenue pumping asset. Also, feel free to go ahead and subscribe if you want, no pressure. Back to business. What is a Shopify thank you page? So the thank you page, otherwise known as the order confirmation page, is the page that your customers are gonna see after they complete their purchase. On your typical thank you page, customers are gonna be able to see an order summary and keep an eye on shipping updates. That's great, but it could be even greater. And that's because the order confirmation page is one of the most underrated pages in e-commerce. Side note, if you wanna know how much money your thank you page could be generating, we're gonna go ahead and link our upsell calculator below and you should definitely check it out. Let's take a look at why you need to customize your thank you page. So your thank you page is like the underdog sitting on the sidelines the entire game. But the moment you put them in the game, bam, you win the championship. There are four reasons for this. One, it is psychologically proven to lead to conversion. Humans tend to behave in ways consistent with our earlier actions. So if you've already had a customer convert, that makes them extremely likely to do it again. When a customer hits your thank you page, it means they have just converted, which gives you the perfect opportunity to reconvert. Number two, thank you pages have a 100% open rate. Over the last several years, email open rates have been declining. Instead of working your butt off to get an email open rate of about 25%, why not use your thank you page? Why your thank you page, you ask? Well, it's because it is literally the page that everyone will be seeing. Not only will 100% of your buying customers see this page, many of them are going to see it more than once if they go and check up on shipping. Number three, thank you page offers don't distract your customers. Upsells and cross-sells are everything and you should definitely be using them, but timing is key. If you use them too early or too aggressively, your customers might get spooked and move on. By keeping your offers tucked away nice and tidy in your thank you page, you won't run the risk of losing the sale before it's a done deal. Number four, you get a massive return on investment with minimum effort. Usually generating more revenue requires many hours, loads of testing, complex schemes, and let's be honest, you need to have money to make money but customizing your Shopify thank you page doesn't require any of that because it's already there, just waiting for you to take advantage of it. Now that you have all of that in mind, let's take a look at how you can be optimizing your thank you page. Number one, add post-purchase upsells and cross-sells. Acquisition costs are rising, which means that extracting revenue from new sales is becoming harder and harder. And that's why encouraging customers to spend more money more often is the key to getting those profits. And how exactly do we get customers to spend more money? That's right, a well-timed post-purchase offer. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Once a customer hits your thank you page, it means they have just bought from you, making them as qualified a customer as you're gonna get. These customers have a 60 to 70% better chance of reconverting when given a nudge in the right direction at the right time. Check out this screenshot from a reconvert user. As you can see, they managed to generate a third of their revenue from a post-purchase upsell. Let's just say that an extra 12,700 pounds is not a bad amount of revenue for a deal that probably took 30 minutes to set up. Correct me if I'm wrong. The best part, that extra revenue was made without having to spend additional money on acquisition. So minus the production cost, that is pure unadulterated profit. There are a ton of methods that you can use on your thank you page. Check out how Forever 21 uses related products to seduce their customers into another purchase. Also, if Amazon is doing it, you really need to get on it. If you really wanna get those conversions rolling in, you have to add incentive to your thank you page. Some tactics for including incentive on your thank you page include things like discounts. You can tempt shoppers to buy again by lowering the price. Pop-ups. These can easily grab your customer's attention and make them take action. Recommended products. This is a less pushy way about letting your customers know 
what they might have missed, and time-sensitive offers. They might feel more inclined to purchase if they only have the one opportunity. If you're feeling extra motivated, go ahead and combine several of these tactics for even greater results. And also, let us know in the comments below what works best for you. Number two, drive social engagement and referrals. Customers who have just made a purchase are probably pretty interested in your brand at this point, which is the perfect opportunity to get them to follow you on social media. Not only can you get more followers this way, you can also add a social sharing button for those customers who like to flaunt what they got. Social shares are a great idea because they introduce your brand to new potential customers who otherwise might not have found you. Also, 92% of customers trust recommendations from friends or family way more than average. Advertising. If you're not encouraging social sharing, you need to have a long, hard think about why not. I mean, look at Warby Parker. They know what's up. Number three, reinforce your brand personality. You want people to remember you. If you manage to leave a lasting impression, chances are you're going to see some of those customers again. The thank you page, as the last thing a person is going to see of your brand, is the perfect place to make yourself known. And let's be honest. The generic Shopify thank you page is about as memorable as last Tuesday's leftovers. Be memorable and stick out. Don't be like every other thank you page. You're better than that. You gotta customize with unique copy, images, or videos that appeal to your ideal buyer. Adding a thank you page video is also a great way to thank your customers for joining the club. Number four, leverage post-purchase surveys. Customer feedback isn't exactly super popular. Plus, some people respond hours or even days after they visited your store. But if you pop a quick survey on your thank you page, you can actually solve these problems because one, customers are gonna be more inclined to fill out the survey if it's easy, and two, the experience will be most accurate when it's fresh in their minds. Surveys can make your customer feel heard, and accurate customer data can help boost your shopping experience and drive conversions even higher. So now we know what Victoria's secret is. Number five, collect additional customer data. Use this beautiful post-purchase window to get to know your customers. This will allow you to segment your audience and send them even more relevant messages. Seriously, you guys. Segmentation has been shown to boost email open rates by 15% and increase your customer return rate by another 5%. While a post-purchase email survey might do the trick, a thank you page survey at least ensures that 100% of your customers are gonna see it, meaning you're much likelier to get a higher response rate. Look at Harry's. They really just wanna get to know their customers so they can provide them with the best experience. Be like Harry's. Number six, eliminate buyer's remorse. Have you ever bought something and then immediately regretted your purchase? That's buyer's remorse. And it's not just you and me. Eight out of 10 people admit to regularly feeling buyer's remorse. The good thing is that your thank you page is here to help. How? Two ways. Instead of simply saying thank you, you can reinforce your product's benefits and remind customers why they definitely made the right decision. You can also use customer testimonials to prove the value of your product and calm down your customers' nerves. When we feel good about what we bought, we're gonna be more likely to buy it again. Number seven, add customer service and tracking. Have you ever bought something and then as the receipt is printing, your brain just like explodes with like a hundred different questions? If, like me, you're suddenly concerned with questions like, how do I return it? Or how long does shipping take? Or will this look cute on my dog? Help a customer out. Excellent customer service is a great way to get customers to come back. So go ahead and offer a support option right on your thank you page. Customers will appreciate having the options so readily accessible rather than having to look for it themselves. The easier you make it for customers to solve their problems, the better the experience becomes. So today's takeaways for a great thank you page, be memorable, but not overwhelming. At the end of the day, it's all about making a good impression so your customers want to come back. If you wanna learn more about thank you pages, you can go ahead and click this video right here, or you can always just let YouTube do its thing. See you around.